What is up guys? I'm Daddy Gamer Fred and welcome back to another Pokemon discussion video. In today's video, we're going to be going over some leaks, rumors, and speculating on when we are going to find out more info on the upcoming Diamond and Pearl remakes coming out later this year. Now, I want to say that this is blowing up all over my timeline. I'm seeing a ton of people source it back to a ton of different things. I'm gonna try to go over it all here, but if I do get anything wrong, just let me know in the comment section below, as well as link me to Twitter accounts and stuff like that. I'll leave it all open in the comments to make sure that we go over everything rooted in this a quote unquote leak rumor that is going on today. So basically the gist of everything, and please take it as a grain of salt, speculative, rumor slash leak. There's gonna be a Pokemon present coming in in the early part of June, which will tie in with E3 2021, but before E3, the Nintendo Direct that's supposed to be in part of the E3 presentation. So everybody here should know Kilos or, or Kilos. I'm probably saying that terribly wrong. Excuse me. I'm gonna have his Twitter linked in the description as well as in, in the pin tweet of this video so you guys can check him out. But he's a big name leaker when it comes to um, Pokemon stuff. He predicted the announcement of Diamond and Pearl remakes. I mean, anyone could have predicted it, but you know, you know what I'm trying to get at. He's also was one of the first people to post footage of the games prior to the official revealing. And according to one of his replies to a tweet on May 16th, and I'm recording this on the 17th, by the way, he said, yeah, Pokemon Presents incoming early June to announce Pokemon Unite release, Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearls release dates, etc. So I started thinking, would this be in line with something the Pokemon company will do as far as doing another Pokemon Presents to kind of give us an overlook of the game before it releases? This is something Nintendo always does. Nope, today we actually got a overview of the Mario Golf game. I have a reaction in my deep dive video on that coming up, I believe tomorrow, I'm gonna say that for tomorrow's video. So this is kind of a normal thing Nintendo does, the Pokemon company has done this before. Even Joe Merrick, the owner and webmaster of Cerebi.com, tweeted this saying that, you know, this is normal. Pokemon games often reveal early in the year and then start their showcases of info in May slash June. Going back to 2016, this has always been the case. And again, Joe Merrick, I'm gonna have a link to his Twitter in the comment section below basically goes over all the dates that the pokemon company has done this and stuff like that you know there's always patterns that us pokemon community see and try to make it officially like their plan and what they do i do think it's just naturally with them releasing a game on a yearly cycle they tend to have tendencies that they probably don't even notice that they're following or routines that are they just happen to magically keep up with. But yes, they tend to follow the schedule. And, you know, Joe Merrick, I, I love the guy. He loves to play devil's advocate when it comes to these types of things. And not even devil's advocate. I don't even want to say that. But he definitely loves the truth. And I'm that type of guy, too. So I respect that. And, and you know, he's not wrong because, you know, any insider could kind of guess this with the evidence that we have as far as a blueprint of years and years of release cycles for Pokemon games and the patterns that they do keep up with. It's kind of easy to predict that, yeah, May, June, we may get something, a Pokemon present or a Pokemon overview trailer detailing more info on the Diamond and Pearl remakes. This also goes back to the Timmy Studios group tweet that they tweeted out a couple of days ago, basically saying nothing is more exciting than finalizing a reveal trailer for a franchise beloved for decades with the fire emoji. Of course, Pokemon fans with them working on Pokemon Unite, a lot of people were adding Joe Merrick, Serebii to this tweet, to this post. And Joe even responded saying, you know, nothing to do with Unite. And I think Joe was, again, taking facts of what we know from this tweet. This tweet is saying that it's, you know, a reveal trailer. If it was a new trailer for Pokemon Unite, it wouldn't be revealing the game. And I think that's what Joe was coming at when he did state 
you know, nothing to do with Unite, and it kind of would be unprofessional, especially with the fact on how tight-lipped the Pokemon company has been as far as game leaks and, you know, them not wanting to stoke the fire. I think this tweak will definitely stoke the fire if they would tweet something like this out. I'm not too sure that the heads of the Pokemon company would have been too happy with the fact that people working on the game are basically tweeting out that the trailer is done. <laughs> but do note, we do got other credible leakers on the same tweet thread basically commenting and chiming in saying it is for Pokemon Unite and that they were going to show it in the Pokemon before E3 and then light edit Pokemon Presents before E3 and again this is literally before the news started to blow up about the Pokemon Presents being a thing this source saying many sites are reporting now rumors about a Pokemon Presents before E3 2021 even though I have already cleared and mentioned it in a few days ago with a teaser last month, the one more stop before the destination. Shout out to John for actually linking me in this Twitter thread as well. In the same thread, the same leaker that was teasing this Pokemon present earlier in the month said, while for Pokemon Diamond and Pearl, we will have new information primarily on a monthly basis until their release. For Legends, we will have the same level of marketing only after the release of the remakes. And the big juicy part right here, there will be some new Pokemon in those games. In the same thread, sticking with the Diamond and Pearl remakes, he said, while for the remakes of Diamond and Pearl, we will begin to show the main differences from the original with new forms for some Pokemon and the return of some mechanics that were abandoned in new chapters will be a mix of fidelity to the original game and novelty to attract old and new fans of the series. Despite complaints from players, even these titles will not have a national Pokedex. This title aims at a single player experience while still embracing the multiplayer and competitive soul of the series. Obviously, the big takeaway here is the new forms of some Pokemon. I personally won't be surprised if that was the case. Obviously, with the brand new games like Pokemon Sword and Shield, and even going back to Pokemon Sun and Moon, a very easy thing to do. I don't want to say designing a brand new version, a form of a Pokemon that is ready to have a base design is easy. But you would think, you know, just slapping a different art style on an already existing Pokemon would be kind of easier than doing one from scratch. I could clearly easily see them throwing a few regional forms for some Pokemon that are beloved inside of the game. It's, it's an easy thing to do. To have old fans that love these Pokemon hype to jump in, to try out these new forms of these Pokemon, it's a new experience for them, as well as people that are new to the game can experience new Pokemon with all of us at the same time. Without actually adding to the Pokedex number. You know what I'm saying? So I think that's an easy win for everyone in the community and also the developers of the game. And then he goes on and talks about Pokemon Legends, comparing it to Breath of the Wild. And I'm not gonna go too deep on that here in this video. I wanna keep this video strictly on the Diamond and Pearl stuff. Primarily, I, I wanna give a full video dedicated to Pokemon Legends in the future, as far as when leaks and rumors and Pokemon present stuff is gonna come out, because I really doubt we see anything as far as trailers or even information on legend until the remakes drop and i'm fine with that pokemon legends comes out next year i think the pokemon company is going to be pretty sealed on that until the remakes are released now going back to the original topic of this video do i think we're gonna see a pokemon present before e3 i would say yeah i wouldn't see why not i could clearly see them before the e3 nintendo direct say hey we got seven minutes for a Pokemon Presents, we did not want to squeeze this seven minutes into our Nintendo E3 lineup show, whatever the case may be. That might be 15 to 30 minutes. And I'm pretty sure they might not want to spend a full block of that Nintendo E3 presentation talking about Pokemon. As big as Pokemon is and as big as these remakes are going to be, as big as much as these remakes are going to sell and move units no doubt about that i do believe that 
the spotlight of brand new titles on Nintendo Switch has to be shown this year at E3, especially because a lot of the titles that we do currently know about will be out before that. I believe Mario Golf will be out in Garage Builder. I'm not too sure if it comes out before E3 or even if it does come out after E3. I'm sure we get an update on that during the E3 showcase to kind of sell that game a little more. And I wouldn't be surprised if we got a full deep dive into Garage Builder as well. But yeah, I think we could easily see a Pokemon present saying, hey, Diamond and Pearl overview trailer and a little bit on Pokemon Unite. He did talk about, you know, Pokemon Company once it gets the fans reinvested in Pokemon Unite after the big backlash of the reveal trailer. And I don't think people hate Pokemon Unite as much as it gotten the hate for it if that makes any sense i think people were expecting a different game when they say hey you know check back for this next event that we're gonna do in a couple of days and it turned out to be a mobile game that they were talking about and not like a big rpg that we wanted I think that's why it got a lot of, you know, flack or, you know, backlash because they basically separated it. Like if it was going to be this brand new huge thing and it was just a mobile game. So it was like we could have got that all together in one package when they revealed, I believe they revealed Pokemon Snap literally before they revealed Unite. And instead of just doing it all in one shot in one day, they wanted to separate it. And it was so weird and awkward. It seemed like the separation was because we were going to get you know pokemon legend style game like something big something huge and we end up not getting that so and that's you know hearsay that that's my opinion because of the fact that you know some people will argue and they're probably right that a mobile pokemon game is that big and did deserve that attention but that's neither here or there i have yet to play pokemon unite and the ton i seen about it it does look amazing it does look fantastic i can't wait to try it i'm pretty sure i'm gonna be addicted to it and <laughs> do tons of videos covering it on this channel so either way i am excited for pokemon unite pokemon diamond and pearl even though my initial reaction to it was kind of dull too but you guys know me I love Pokemon, and while Diamond and Pearl aren't my favorite games, I will be diving into this remake and trying it out and playing through it to completion and completing the Pokedex and catching all these little monsters, especially if they do have brand new forms. I'm going to definitely be checking those out. So let me know in the comment section below your thoughts of there actually being a Pokemon Presents before e3 let me know your thoughts on that let me know your thoughts on all of these leaks all these rumors please do take them as a grain of salt let's chat about it in the comment section below especially if i got anything wrong pronounce anything wrong or you know said anything that's technically incorrect let me know in the comment section below as always guys if you don't know i answer all comments so let's have a conversation down there if you're new around here, consider hitting that subscribe button. Do videos like this every day. I'm either talking Pokemon, playing Mario, playing Call of Duty, playing Fortnite. Wherever I feel like dropping the vibes on, I drop it here on the channel. So again, if you're digging the vibes, consider hitting that subscribe button. Also, hit the like button. It does help me out a ton as far as moving the video and to recommend this so other people can check out the videos. Peace. I love you guys. I'm going to see you guys on the next one. Bow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you're not a subscriber and you made it this far, hit that subscribe button. You know you want to join the family, ring the bell so you can be notified on the next time I drop one of my videos, as well as hit the like button on this video so it could be recommended so more people can check it out so we can have more people join in the family. If you want to keep up with me on other social media platforms such as Twitter, Instagram, or TikTok or whatever, I'm Daddy Gamer Fred on all of those. Again, Daddy Gamer Fred, you'll be able to find all those links in the description of this video video and the pin tweet comment on my Twitter. Also on all of my videos, I do answer all comments. So again, if you just want to chat it up about the video or anything, just hit me up in the comment section below. I take time out of my day and literally answer to all the comments that you guys leave me and I love it. And again, let's have that conversation down there. Here are a couple of suggested videos that you guys should check out that may be of your interest. I am a variety channel. I do tons of stuff, tons of Pokemon but tons of other stuff as well. So dive into these videos. Peace. I love you guys. I'm going to see you guys on the next one.